Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you a couple of different ways of being able to transfer your files from your Pocket 3 straight to your PC or Mac. Alright, let's get straight into it. Okay, so let's explore some different ways of being able to connect the Pocket 3 to our computer. So uh, we can do that first of all by um, plugging in the actual USB cable to the back of the little tripod stand here and into a spare port of our computer. And then when we switch it on here, you'll notice it has a file transfer. So just after a few seconds, it's now going to change to say connected and the gimbal is going to uh, change position there. We now have a drive um, enabled, which it says untitled. I'm just going to click on that. And we have access to this D sim folder. If we double click into that and then go to DGI 001, we can see all our footage here. So um, once we've got access to that, we can just literally view the files uh, as we would normally and just uh, delete and copy the files in the same way as we would any other drive, like a USB drive or something like that. Let's now talk about a different way of copying the files to our computer. The next thing we can do is, of course, take the card physically out of the Pocket 3 just by uh, just actually click clicking it until it pops out and not letting it catapult halfway across the room like mine just did just then. And then we can simply just pop it into um, any sort of card reader like this one, for example, and just put it in uh, to the, the card reader and plug it into our computer. And we should have a drive appearing just like we did in the previous method. Now the final other way we can do it is using the DJI Mima app if we want to, which of course we can actually connect to the Pocket 3 in a normal way. And then we're gonna to go to album in the bottom here. And after a moment we can then browse the, uh, what we have recorded on our Pocket 3. And notice we have a little um, download symbol appear on any footage that we haven't actually downloaded. We can just simply click on that footage if we want to preview it. And then we can just uh, click go back and actually click the actual download symbol um, to actually start downloading it to our phone. Now if we use the DJI Mima app to transfer the files, we do have a couple of different options available to us, uh, which allows us to do some filtering and also some sort of minor edits to the actual footage before we actually copy the file to our mobile phones. Now if we actually click on one of the options, for example, this one here, and just and we can change the color, for example, we can change the brightness and the contrast, and we can also um, change, for example, um, we can export the resolution. We've got 4K, 1080p, and 720p. So if we click the export button, we can export that as 4K to our phone, and that will then become available after a moment in our normal uh, video stream on our mobile phone. We can, of course, then do AirDrop or something like that if we want to transfer it to our actual computer. So of course, um, there's an advantage and disadvantage to each of the methods. If you use the mobile app, as I said, uh, you can actually make some minor modifications and, and control the resolution of the video before we export it. If we actually take the card out physically and also using the USB-C cable, it's going to be a lot quicker that way because we can simply just, um, just drag the files across, the ones we need. Um, but of course, we can't make any changes unless we do it in an external video editor. So, you know, it's different things depending on, on your particular workflow. Okay guys, if you find that video useful, don't forget, of course, to give the video a thumbs up. And if you could uh, subscribe to the channel as well to support the channel going forward, that'd be fantastic. Take care, see you soon.